a lot of businesses and entrepreneurs are struggling. And often that's because they're making some really big marketing mistakes, basic mistakes. This has folks spinning their wheels and going in circles in frustration. Trust me, I know from experience, I know what that feels like. So here, what we wanna do is, well, we wanna avoid all that. And to avoid it, we've gotta uncover the biggest marketing mistakes that folks are making, let's check it out. How's it going, my friend? I'm Jeff Blake from 10tononline.com. If you wanna escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business and launch a better tomorrow, then you're definitely in the right spot. Okay, now, before we begin, before we dig into all this, cause I know that business and marketing and all this kind of stuff feels like a big gloopy soupy mess in the old cranium, right? Again, I know, cause I've been there. So what I've done to help clear the clutter, to really lay things out, I put together for you an online business jumpstart guide. This is your free, easy to follow PDF guide that gives you a solid blueprint for your online business, a solid foundation for you to build your online business on top of. This is a printable workbook where essentially you fill it out as you progress in your online business and then simply reference back to it as you're developing your offers, as you're developing out your business, your marketing efforts, your products, and so on. This free guide really becomes the foundation, as I say, for your profitable online business. Go ahead and grab it while you still can over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. For now though, here are some of the biggest, nastiest mistakes that business owners, marketers, and so on are making. Here's the first big nasty one. Copying your competition. This is very, very common. It is very common for businesses to copy one another. In other words, we pay attention to what other vendors who are serving the same market that we are, aka our competition, we're paying attention to what they're doing. What's their pricing like? What are their offers like? What specials are they running this week? And we duplicate it. And you want to know something, my friend? Copying what we see other businesses doing, well, it feels safe. I suppose the rationalization goes something like this. Well, I suppose if it's working for them, it will work for us too. You know what the problem with this is though? The problem with copying what you see other businesses doing is it makes a huge, like grandiose assumption. It assumes that the competition knows what the hell they're doing. The truth is we can't see inside their business. We don't know what's going on. We can't see what's happening behind the scenes. It's impossible for us to know if what they're doing is actually working. However, my friend, when you copy other vendors who are serving the same market that you are, an even worse problem arises. If there are multiple vendors in a particular market and they're all copying each other. They're all offering the same sorts of products. They're all offering the same sorts of services at roughly the same price. Then what this does is it creates confusion from the prospects or the customer's perspective. Someone who is a member of this market that is being served is confused. How can they know which vendor to choose? They all look exactly the same. They're all identical. They're all offering the same products at the same, generally the same price. We're still, my friend, it creates an even bigger problem. By copying other vendors in your market, it makes you boring. Because you are copying and emulating what you're seeing other vendors doing, because you're copying the competition, it makes your business look just like their business. You've got the same product offers, the same pricing, the same marketing, you're advertising in the same place as they are, and this makes you indistinguishable from them. What you've successfully done is duplicated or maybe more accurately replicated their business. You've created a copycat business, which is unremarkable and boring. Man, if you wanna murder your business, be boring. Be the same as everyone else. Now, what happens from the prospect's perspective is any anything that's the same it's ignored. That's just how the human brain works, right? The human brain is wired and designed to look for things that are different. Contrast. Prospects notice vendors who are different. What this means is stand for something. Be different. Be dramatic. Be bold. We specialize in this. These are the sorts of people we serve. This is how we do things. Now, importantly, this doesn't mean that you're excluding anyone. This is sort of like the rub, like sort of the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I, no, it's not irony. 
It's like a, like a wackadoodle kind of thing that's backwards. Now, the word escapes me right now, but you are not excluding anyone. Instead, what you're doing is you are creating contrast in the marketplace. If you only served a specific segment of athletes who have a particular kind of injury, if someone, if an athlete with a slightly different kind of injury came in to take advantage of your service, you wouldn't turn them away. Instead, man, you're creating contrast. You're creating something for the market to notice, something that the market participants, AKA prospects go, oh, that company does this, and those are the sorts of people that they do it for. Now, I've got one more big, massive business mistake, but before we get to it, if you're ready to apply all of this and a whole heck of a lot more to your business, then here's what to do next. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash traffic. Now there, you will find your audience attraction bootcamp. This is a completely free self-paced online workshop. There, you and I are gonna dissolve three big hairy myths about generating website traffic, and we're gonna get to the real truth about what this stuff is really, truly all about. You'll discover, you will learn three primary ways to promote your website and your offers and your online business and attract traffic and discover which one is gonna be a perfect fit for you. And perhaps most importantly, we'll nail down a clear actionable plan for you to move forward with your online marketing efforts. You definitely don't wanna miss it. For now though, here it is, the big matzo ball, the third massive mistake that a lot of business owners and marketers make, and that is inconsistency, inconsistent marketing efforts. Man, especially in today's landscape, many, many marketing options are available to us. There are so many, in fact, that it is easy to get overwhelmed. It makes it confusing for us business owners and marketers to know which ones to use, which ones to leverage, which ones are a safe bet, which ones we should be ignoring, which ones are fads and trends. It's confusing. And you know what this has us doing? It has us, business owners and marketers, jumping from tactic to tactic, from strategy to strategy. It's like jumping through hoops or, you know, <laughs> juggling flaming bowling ball pins or something like that, bowling pins, chasing shiny objects. That's what I'm getting at. Oftentimes what happens is, especially with folks who are new to all this stuff, they come upon a tactic, a strategy, a method, and they chase that for a little while. Again, like chasing a bright, shiny object before dumping that one and jumping over to something else that catches their attention. They do that for a little while, whether it's the latest social media platform or whatever. The truth, my friend, and nobody talks about this, nobody wants to tell you this, is all marketing and sales strategies work. Anything that you have ever come across in your life before works. I mean, rhyme them off. What have you seen before? SEO, content marketing, social media, webinars, uh, email marketing, online paid traffic, online ads joint ventures, it all works. The problem is, is that it is not working for most marketers and business owners because they are not sticking with any one strategy long enough to have it actually work. The secret, the top secret <laughs> here that you can't tell anybody about is to pick one or maybe two, maybe three. I would say two strategies, whatever they might be. I mean, Pick from the menu, it doesn't really matter. Choose the ones that appeal to you most and stick to it like forever, never stop. Choose them, stick with them and keep going. Like I'm saying here, the secret is that all strategies work so long as you stick with them long term. Once you start, never stop. That is the straight truth about the biggest marketing mistakes, my friend. Now, let's get going in your audience attraction bootcamp. I'll see you over there in just a second.